Welcome back to Running Point on YSNlive.com, brought to you by Greenwood Chevrolet in Austin Town. Anthony Hartwig with Ty Bartell, both in the studio here, and we are going to be joined now by Barrett Brothers, Big Dog of the Valley winner this week on the volleyball section, Alyssa Leskovac. Alyssa, thank you so much Uh, for the time to join us. Thank you for having me. Man, has it been a big week for you or what? I mean, you win Baird Brothers, Big Dog of the Valley. You break the ace record in the season for Austin Town Fitch. And then last night, you guys, of course, get the AAC championship over Canfield in a five-set thriller. Talk about this kind of roller coaster of a week and what it's been like riding on it. It's been so awesome. I mean, everything just kept piling up. And, um, I mean, winning um, – YSN Big Dog was obviously so awesome. I had so many people um, from our community supporting me with that. So that was really awesome. And um, breaking the record, kind of unexpected, but also just a great feeling. And then yesterday's game was just unbelievable. Yeah, Alyssa, and talking about, you know, this season with Fitch, and I mean, there's no doubt, I mean, experiencing it firsthand, you guys have had one special year, I think, too, and I mean, it only continues to get a little bit tougher, but you guys have answered the challenge time and time again, and I think part of the reason why you've earned this big dog, uh, looking back at the game at Louisville, too, another example, similar to the Canfield one, where you guys go down two sets to one, and then... It seems like with you, there's a, a switch that flips and uh, you all of a sudden key in and uh, tune in and you end up uh, doing some incredible things on the, the volleyball court. It seems like you enter takeover mode. Talk to me about those moments where it seems like you need to just put the team on your back and it just it's you and, and Jocelyn that seem to just always come out on top. Yeah, me and Joe, we, we love those close matches. That's when we really can get into the game and get our energy most up and that's when the team really gets excited because we're bringing that energy to the court and I live for those close tight games like that it's so much fun the energy that we bring is just insane and it's really really fun let's talk a little bit more about last night uh the, you know everyone kind of knew that Canfield Fitch was going to be a really good game uh you know yeah. AAC championship on the line really good players on both sides you guys had to battle back from 2-1 down Take us through kind of what it took to to bounce back from that and and the emotional highs and lows of the games and uh, what what you think was the key to your victory. Yeah, so obviously that game, there was a lot on the line. There was a lot of pressure. Um, Canfield's crowd was insane. That first set, they kind of had all of the energy on their side. And then I think we just kept fighting throughout the entire game. And obviously we didn't have as many supporters there for us with it being their senior night. And it was awesome that Abby got to get her a thousandth kill. But um, yeah, I think we just kept fighting and we kind of, we put our nose down and we just kept going until that final game. Yeah, that thousandth kill seemed to give them a little bit of the the roller coaster momentum in the first set. It was the one that they won 25-17. Yeah. They won their second set a lot closer. Did you guys have to like take a little minute to regroup and, and try to get that momentum back? Because you came back in the second set and it was the most lopsided set of the of the match. Yeah, so I mean, before the game, we obviously knew that she was going to have that accomplishment. So we were kind of like, we knew that the energy was going to be all on their side after that. And it definitely was, but we knew that we just had to keep going and we couldn't let that kind of affect our play. So we just kept um, hanging with them that first set and then ended up beating them that second set. Even though there's a large group of seniors on this uh, Lady Falcons team, it definitely seems like a a lot of the girls come to you, and with good reason. It's why you're one of the captains there. Talk to me as being one of the leaders of this team and playing throughout this course of the season. Obviously, we talked to you a little bit before the season, but now talking to you, uh, recapping the season, obviously, just before the end of it. What has been, I think, the biggest thing that you've seen growth-wise from this team uh, especially with those younger players, is noting like girls like Afton Roby who have stepped up largely this season too, just in her sophomore year. I think the biggest thing for the younger girls, um, especially our middles, they're both, well, Afton's a sophomore and Julia Jordan, she is a junior. But I think the biggest thing for them has been uh, gaining confidence. And I think that the team's really helping them with that and just boosting them at practice and in games when they're really doing well and I think they've improved tremendously and it's really awesome to see and I like look forward to watching them next year. 
you know, everyone talks about Finch's offense, and right, rightfully so. You guys have really good hitters, and, and, and you're dangerous from the middle and the outsides. Defense last night, I think, was one of the big keys in your in your victory. I mean, you had you had over 20, 20 digs. Dawson had over 20 digs. And Alessali had over 20 digs. What kind of emphasis does this put, team put on defense and doing the work that really doesn't get too much love in the stat sheet? Right. So we work so much defensively in practice. Um, I would say for us, we kind of have little regard to our bodies and we're just throwing ourselves wherever the ball is. So I think, I honestly think that's great to have so many players who will do anything to keep the ball in there. So yeah, Ella did really great. Joe did really great. And even Sammy had some really great passes yesterday too. And don't think, uh, if, if anyone's doubting the reasoning why she's won Big Dog uh, of the Valley, look also at the fact that a couple games ago at Poland, I was there as well. Now the uh, new holder of the most aces in a single season is uh, is Alyssa Leskovac right there for the school. Talk to me a little bit about what that means to you now, being in the record books for the Lady Falcons. It's a very special accomplishment. Yeah, it's really awesome. We actually just put up like our stat board this year so before the season, we were kind of all looking at it, like wondering where we could fit on there. And for me, I was kind of looking at the digs to start out. I kind of thought digs maybe would be um, reachable for me, which I'm still a good amount away from a dig record. But that was initially what I thought. But now that aces have kind of turned on for me, it was just really exciting, definitely unexpected. Aces have never really been a big thing for me. So this year it was definitely really cool to see that I've gotten there and that my name will be on the board, not in just one spot, but two. I think that's really cool. You know, as a server, I've been told by, you know, aces are kind of gravy because your first job is just get the other team out of system, make a nice, make it, make a difficult pass. So when you get an ace, I mean, that's gotta just be icing on the cake because not only did you do your job, but it ended up being a, a, on the stat sheet for you. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome feeling. Um, Yesterday, I had one that clipped right over the net, and, mm. like, it's super lucky, but it's a great feeling, and it really brings energy to the team when you get an ace. You know, and, and, and also, I, I imagine it has to be very frustrating to get one of those ones that's so close to an ace, and someone just runs it down the corner and barely gets a touch on it, and you go, yep. what? but then you have to remember that the, the serve still did its job. Yeah, for sure. Looking at at you as a server too, and I, I I haven't questioned this, but I I think that you do too, and I think you do a good job at it. Reading the court too when you're serving and attacking, uh, maybe some some hitters that are a little bit weaker on those sides. I think you do a great job, and I think you have tremendous accuracy. Has that been something that you've always kind of had in your game plan, or is that something that you've kind of learned over the uh, the years on reading the court when you're serving? Yeah, so Coach Bartlett kind of leaves it up to us where we want to serve. Some teams spot serve, and the coach kind of gives them a place to serve on the court, but she kind of leaves it up to us. She definitely trusts us when it comes to serving. So if I'm feeling like my serve maybe isn't super consistent one game, I'll just try to get it in, and usually it'll go to the middle of the court. But if I know that I'm definitely going to get it in and I'm really on, I'll try to pick where I think might be the weakest spot to aim my serve. All right, so we've talked volleyball at the Wazoo. Let's learn a little bit about Alyssa Leska back off the court. What are some of your favorite school subjects that you have going on right now at Austin Town Fitch as a student? Um, right now, I am in advanced chem, um, and I actually really like that class. It's kind of like an easier math class, so when I understand it, I can do it super easily, and I think it's a lot of fun. How about that? She thinks advanced chemistry super <laughs> easy. Oh, man. I mean, <laughs> IQ must be high. It's high, it's high on the court and it's high outside of the court. Talking a little bit, too, about your relationship. We've, we've obviously have talked about your relationship with Coach Bartlett. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of a two-part question. What has been the biggest thing on the court that Coach Bartlett has kind of helped you with in your volleyball game? And what has been the one thing outside of volleyball that Coach Bartlett has taught you? So outside of volleyball, Coach Bartlett is – I know I told you this before, but she's like a mother figure to me. She is always there for me. She's always texting me, making sure everything's okay. She is just someone I really look up to. She actually wrote me a letter of recommendation for um, colleges that I applied to. So she's done so much for me, and I just really appreciate her. And on the court, I think the biggest thing is how much trust she puts into me. Like, she trusts me no matter any decision I want to make. 
she always comes to me and Joe being the captains and wants our input. So I think that that's just really awesome. And I love the relationship that we've built with her. All right, Alyssa, I'm sure there were dinners last night. There were celebrated celebratory feasts last night. Made me think, what, what is your favorite post-game meal to have after a big win? Pizza, no doubt. I am a super, super picky eater. The entire team always makes fun of me, but I love Little Caesars pizza. So that's my go-to no matter what. So I'm guessing it's plain cheese pizza then? Yep. Rocket. Yep. Rocket. See, I I had cheese pizza on the Audible call and they, they made fun of me. I said, that's a kid's pizza. I'm like, Pizza. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my my other question too, and I mean, I've had the the uh, honor of calling multiple members of, of your family now, Alyssa. So when you got the ace record and and everything you've been able to accomplish, was there uh was there some some text or maybe some back and forth with Nate about the uh, the record and having your name up in the uh, the walls of pitch now? So surprisingly, Nathan has been super super supportive. He's come to like almost all of my games this year and it's really awesome because I look up to him so much when it comes to sports and everything I do he's just always so proud of me and I'm just really really thankful for him I want to give you the chance to to thank the other people you know Nathan of course but the the people that have supported you been there for you through the years and uh you mean the people that you couldn't be where you are without uh in, in your life right well obviously my teammates I love them so much my best friends will never forget them, even when I graduate from here. But my family also, my extended family, I can't tell you, they probably voted a million times for the YSN big dog thing. So super, super thankful for them. They're awesome. They come to all of my games. My teachers, my coaches, all so supportive. Coach Horacek always sending me text messages after the games. Everyone's just super supportive in my life, and I'm really thankful for them. Obviously, you guys got a couple of tough matchups with both uh, Strongsville and Highland before the uh, the start of the tournament. But the tournament is right around the corner, and you guys look like you are really focused and honed in on it. What is the biggest thing that you want to see improvement-wise? That Obviously, you guys are already a very great team. You guys do a lot of things well. But what is the biggest thing you want to see improvement-wise? And it could be either on the court, it could be emotionally, mentally, what have you. Uh, that you want to see in this team before the, the tournament? Right. So we have two super big games coming up. Um, I think our biggest thing, uh, I think why we lost uh, the sets yesterday, we make kind of little mistakes, and those little mistakes kind of keep building. Like a first ball will go up and we'll have a communication issue, and then it'll fall, and I think that kind of brings us down, and then after that it just goes downhill. So I think that's the biggest thing is just really communicating more on the court in between those little plays and not letting those little mistakes happen. And I think we'll be good with these um, next games. I got to ask about you guys and the energy you brought to the JV game and how much energy you pour <laughs> into the, the girls that aren't on varsity yet, but still part of this program. How important is it for you guys as a team, as a varsity team, to make sure that those JV girls know you're there, know you're supporting them, and know that they're just as much a part of a program as you guys are? I mean, we love the JV girls. We treat them like they're on varsity. They're, they're like our sisters. Um, we actually, for our senior night, they all wrote little messages on balls to us. And Jordan Smith, who is the outside hitter on the JV team, she wrote that me and Joe are her biggest in inspirations. And I just thought that was so sweet. And it just makes me like love them so much more and want to be there for them and always cheer them on because I know how much respect they have for me and I want to show that back to them. I got to give a follow-up because we know the culture of Fitch volleyball is very deep and, and, and the Fitch high school takes their volleyball very seriously. You know, I'm sure there are girls that are younger in middle school and in, in elementary that watch this varsity team and are looking up to people like you and Jocelyn and Aaron and all the leaders of this team. What's mm -hmm. it mean to you to kind of know that you guys have girls that are really looking up to you and kind of want to be in your shoes when they grow up and get older in the varsity program? It's amazing. I remember I felt the exact same way when I was in middle school and I was watching the older girls. So now that we kind of have that relationship with them, it's so awesome. And I'm just really thankful. They all came to our um, our game yesterday and they're always cheering us on. They're always giving us high fives. So they have a really good future ahead of them. 
Uh, my final question for you, Alyssa. I mean, we've we've definitely talked to you a lot about reflection, and uh, with with good reason too. I mean, in your senior year, and you guys are doing some great things. But talk to me a little bit now about what the Fitch community has meant to you. And I guess just to put the spotlight on you, I just give this as uh, an opportunity to kind of thank the Fitch community and also. Uh, rally them up because I know October 23rd, there's going to be a, a packed house probably at, uh, at Ossetown Fitch, but definitely uh, give them a call to come out to Fitch High School. Yeah. So my experience at, at Fitch has been so amazing. I mean, you saw at senior night, how many people came out to support us. And I think recently, especially with um, sports, but with academics also, Fitch is just going so uphill. All of our programs are doing amazing. We just got a new athletic director and he's a great guy. So I think we have such a good future ahead of us at Fitch. And I'm just really excited to see where it goes. Alyssa, thank you so much for joining us today on Running Point. We love talking to you. I think it's like the third time <laughs> we've had you on the on the show. Uh, we're, we're not ashamed of, of uh, highlighting uh, great athletes. Uh, thank you for joining us. Good luck in the tournament. Good luck the last you know, what, two games of the regular season. And we, hey, who knows, we might talk to you again real soon. Thank you. Thank you so much.